even in the most dramatic of scenes, we're like, okay, and now I can breathe and just kind of like laugh <laughs> before we have to go back into it. And that's, that's a really nice thing to have. Um, felt super safe with him at all times, which I think is also so important because it means you can really like play, play on screen and really just trust that the other person is going to be there and open with you. And, um, you know, it's really kind of special when you can kind of come in and just connect it instantly. I loved this show so much and I'm super excited for audiences to actually see this one now premiering March 3rd on HBO Max. Um, But, you know, first things first, um, what I loved so much was the dynamic you had with Jamie Dornan's The Man. So you guys had amazing chemistry. What was it like working with him and getting through some of those scenes? It was so fun. Jamie's such an easy guy to work with, um, which is which is always so, so nice <laughs> when you meet a co-star and you instantly get along. You're like, this is going to be so easy. And it really was because, you know, we spent like five months together. So it's really nice when that happens. And it, and it happened with the whole casting crew, which is what's really exciting. Um, he's a really funny guy. You know what I mean? Like even in the most dramatic of scenes, we're like, okay, and now I can breathe and just kind of like laugh <laughs> before we have to go back into it. And that's that's a really nice thing to have. Um, felt super safe with him at all times, which I think is also so important because it means you can really like play play on screen and really just trust that the other person is going to be there and open with you. And, um, you know, it's really kind of special when you can kind of come in and just connect it instantly. I, I remember we had one scene together and there was no time left at the end of the day because, you know, filmmaking is always rushed and the elements you're dealing with. And I think we had like, we were literally cross shooting a scene and it was an emotional scene. And we had (laughs) like a take each and we just kind of instantly locked in. We're like, we know we have to get this for everyone. And we just did it. And it felt really special afterwards. We're like, we got it. Okay. We're good. And it's just nice having that, that. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice to have that (laughs) relationship on screen because then it translates also for audiences to see. And, you know, I love your character, Helen. And so much like the man, she is trying to find herself, but there is a moment in particular that I loved so much. And it's when she and her fiance, Ethan had this massive confrontation. I'm not going to spoil it, but that was such a breakthrough for her. What was going through your head trying to get her to that place? There was a lot. Um, yeah, that, that was such a huge, huge moment. It, it was really, it was really interesting because that day I was filming with Greg the entire day who plays Ethan. And we had like three back-to-back scenes. And it was funny because we started with that scene and then we went into the scenes from previous to that scene. So it was really interesting because it was like, let's work ourselves up to that point. And then it's almost like relax into that other thing, knowing what's coming. Do you know what I mean? It, it was really interesting, but um, I think being able to play in that space and that relationship and, and feel that kind of toxicity was easier knowing that there is a point where it explodes. It does. It always comes to a head at some point. And um, knowing that is almost a relief in a way, because you can feel the tension build and you can feel that. And um, that was, yeah, it was really, Greg was really, really great to work opposite. You know, Um, I think it's always hard playing those characters, especially for him. And he is just such a nice guy. He was always like, I'm so sorry. I'll do it. And I was like, I got yeah. you. It's okay. But yeah. it was really, it was, it was really fun playing with him. He makes it fun. He's a comedian. It was really, it was really easy. Yeah. yeah. And I know that audiences are going to scream after the finale episode. And, you know, with that ending, it's sort of things are up in the air. Um, would you like to see a season two? I know that the creators have talked about it. And I'm wondering where would you like to see your character go? Yeah. I mean, this is the funny thing. It was always meant to kind of be one and done. And then uh, people in the UK were like, wait, we want to, we want to see more, which is always so exciting. Cause it means, you know, these people kind of people loved the characters and the story and the world. And so I would, I would definitely be open to it. I think, you know, I had such a great time with these people and with this world and with this character. And so I would, I would love to explore that more. I have no idea where it would go. (laughs) No idea. And to be fair, like if it ever were to, I would probably be more surprised than even the audience members because that's kind of how it was for me reading the script. So um, I would love to explore more. I have no idea where that would be. (laughs) I guess we'll have to wait and see then, but um, I'm so happy for everybody to finally see the show. Danielle, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks again. And congrats on the, on the tours. It's out March 3rd. (laughs) 